You guys can spend all day long trying to spin this, that this is Donald Trump's fault, that this is somehow caused by Donald Trump. Oh, he's appointing the wrong people. Oh, he did it. Oh, this is the worst possible thing a president could possibly do to his party and to the country to sit for a year and say, I will not do this. I will not do this. The rule of law is sacred. We have to respect the justice system. Juries, we have to respect juries. We have to respect the guardrails and the norms of our democracy. These people are liars. Hey guys, welcome to Jaywalk Journalism. This is Matt Miller. Watch CNN's Scott Jennings go off at his Democrat colleagues who are actually trying to defend Joe Biden's pardoning of his disgraced son, Hunter Biden. Uh, we know that this guy, Hunter, has been mixed up in drugs and hookers and all kinds of dark, dark things. The guy is a total shameful disgrace. Um, and these Democrats on CNN are actually trying to make the case that Biden did the right thing. Watch Scott Jennings tear them a new one. There are Democrats saying they're not happy that President Biden made this decision. Yeah, well, tough. Uh, the president went ahead and did what he thought was right for him and, for, and to protect his son. Joe Biden is leaving office making the strongest possible case for Donald Trump that anybody could possibly make it, and that's that our government and our justice system is of, by, and for the elites and nobody else. He ran to banish Trumpism from our political system in this country, and he has left it politically and now institutionally the strongest possible political force in this country. It is a complete an utter failure by the head of the Democratic Party and the President of the United States. Never again do I want to hear, oh, Donald Trump's a liar. You can't believe anything he says. Donald Trump will abuse his power. Donald Trump will only use the system to benefit himself and his family and so on and so forth. Never again. I have one question for Karen, and that is, why did he need an 11-year blanket pardon Going back to 2014, when Joe Biden was the vice president, we are sitting on the biggest cover-up of who knows what crimes. And Joe Biden, amazingly, knows exactly, roughly, when it started. He knows just about when it all started. He's leaving office in complete and total disgrace. He is a liar, and there is no other way to spin this today. This has nothing to do with Trump and everything to do with the character of Joe Biden. That Republicans have been for years now trying to attack the president himself, go after his family. And when you have someone who literally ran their campaign on retribution, on the idea of I will be your retribution and getting back at his enemies, I would imagine, obviously I haven't spoken to the president about this, but I would imagine the president took a look at this and said, I wanna make sure this is ironclad, that there is nothing that can be done to circumvent uh, what I'm going to do to protect my son and to try to take the target off of his back final, once and for all. So that, that's my reading of it. Um, but again, I think that the hypocrisy here it, it is astounding. I mean, Donald Trump has said and done things, you know, said things that he, and done other things. And again, he's a convicted felon himself. He has used his power to benefit his friends, his wealthy allies, um, in this instance, we're talking about a man who decided to uh, take care of his son after years of unrelenting attacks. I don't blame him. You guys can spend all day long trying to spin this, that this is Donald Trump's fault, that this is somehow caused by Donald Trump. Oh, he's appointing the wrong people. Oh, he did it. Oh, this is the worst possible thing a president could possibly do to his party and to the country to sit for a year and say, I will not do this. I will not do this. The rule of law is sacred. We have to respect the justice system. Juries, we have to respect juries. We have to respect the guardrails and the norms of our democracy. These people are liars. Inflation, it's transitory. Afghanistan, it's a success. The border is secure. Robert Hur is a liar. The videos are cheap fakes. Biden has a cold. He'll never drop out. Oh, I'll never pardon Hunter. It's all a lie. It is all a grift. Every American, except the most partisan 
brain rotted people are going to be outraged by this today. He is going to leave off. You think 38, 39 percent job approval is bad? Just you wait. So, of course, Scott Jennings is 100 percent correct on this. This is a horrendous special treatment overreach of the president's office to do this. And I, might I add, like, you know, I'm sure this is kind of implicit in what he said. Hunter Biden is not deserving of judicial mercy at all. It's not like he's been misunderstood or that he's been falsely accused. This guy is a serial criminal. He, he didn't just make one mistake and now we need to, you know, go light on the guy, go easy on the guy because he's actually deep down a nice person and he's a good citizen and all that. No, he is an absolute train wreck. He also, he hooked up with his brother's widow. His older brother passed away um, and, you know, Biden talks a lot about that, how Bo Biden um, passed away and... But what Hunter did to his wife, his, his brother's wife, they hooked up and had a sexual affair after his brother passed. Does that sound like somebody that is a reasonable, good person that has a moral virtue to them? Absolutely not. And then the Hunter Biden laptop proved to us what we already kind of knew, which was this guy was wrapped up with all kinds of hookers and escorts and strippers and just a, the lowest of the low degenerate. And now his dad, now I understand a father doing this for his son kind of no matter what, because a father-son relationship, it's unconditional love. So I can understand that if even if your son was really, really bad, like Hunter is, still loving them, still wanting to do something for them like this. But I, don't, I, I just think it, it's a terrible look for everybody else other than Joe Biden himself and their family, because it looks like... You're using your office to deliver special treatment to somebody who deserves to be in prison. Now, the two pending federal um, convictions that Hunter Biden is being pardoned from, one is not paying his taxes. This guy has over a million dollars in unpaid taxes, and, and he hasn't been paying his taxes while he's been spending hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars doing all this degenerate crap, paying for hookers, taking trips around the world, doing drugs, partying, being an absolute animal, and he hasn't been paying the taxes. If anybody else in the country didn't pay their taxes, we would be in prison. I guess it's nice to have your dad as president, but the second charge is he purchased a gun while he was a drug user, and he didn't disclose that, and it's illegal if you're addicted to drugs, and you're on those substances to be wielding a firearm. And he was in possession of this firearm. So these are things that he was found guilty of, he was convicted of, and now he's being pardoned. He's getting let, let off the hook because of who his dad is. Again, I understand Joe Biden's decision to do this as a father, but in every other way that you look at this, I don't know how these, these android robotic shill Democrats can even muster an argument. And when you hear her, it's like... It just, it just doesn't fly. It doesn't stick. You know, a lot of Americans said that if they had known about the Hunter Biden laptop before 2020, the 2020 election, that that would have changed their minds in voting for Joe Biden. But we saw the mainstream media and social media platforms censoring this information that the New York Post broke, uh, revealing Hunter Biden's laptop, all of his degeneracy and his darkest nature. And that this was the, the spawn, the offspring of Joe Biden, that definitely would have had a massive effect on the election. And that's, of course, why everyone colluded the, the administration, uh, the Biden administration, to censor and suppress that information. They told Facebook that this is fake news. It's a Russian uh, hoax. You need to suppress reach on it. They told Twitter the same thing. And this was, of course, before Twitter was owned by Elon Musk. Elon Musk would have never complied with this, of course. But that story could have been pivotal in changing the results of the last election and Hunter Biden's legacy, his terrible train wreck legacy could have been the thing if it had gotten out there earlier to save America from four years of Joe Biden, just wide open borders, ravaging uh, American communities on the border and across the country. We've seen what Joe Biden has done as president and you know, the wide open border that has been destroying American communities, his terrible handling of our economy, um, our weak diplomacy across the world, our weak commerce, 
The guy has been a very big letdown and revealing Hunter Biden's laptop and his horrendous resume would have saved America most likely from the last four years of a lackluster, to put it generously, president, but really, really just a, uh, a very dysfunctional president, a very dysfunctional administration. Uh, thank God we were spared Kamala Harris, the part two of the Biden administration. What do you guys think of Scott Jennings' take here? Is he right about Hunter Biden's uh, pardoning? Is this a massive hypocrisy? I think it's pretty obvious that it is, but I want to hear what you guys think in the comments down below. If you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so you guys get notified when we post new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.